10 Reasons You Should Not Get a Labrador Retriever Labradors are the most popular dogs in the United States and the third most popular dogs globally because of their pleasant personality. Dog personality is rooted in genes, manifested in behavior, and significantly impacted by owner characteristics and training. They look so sweet, fluffy, and happy all the time. It's easy to see why they're one of the most popular dog breeds. The build of the Labrador Retriever is one that speaks of balance and strength. There are three coat colors from which to choose, black, chocolate, and yellow. They have a wide head, eyes that sparkle with mischief, and a tail that always seems to be wagging in happiness. As cute as you may think they are, getting one could be troublesome. No doubt they are lovely dogs, but they can be rather a handful. In this video, we will exactly tell you why you might be letting yourself in if you choose to get a Labrador. Number one, they require a lot of exercise. The quantity of exercise a dog participates in is among the most crucial factors you should take into account when searching for one. Labrador retrievers are very active. They are more likely to get into trouble if they do not get the essential exercise. Running around the home may be enough exercise for some tiny dogs. Not one of those dogs is a lab. Even a good warm-up for this kind of dog is indoor play. Therefore, you should generally avoid getting a Labrador Retriever if you don't have the time to take your dog outside to play and run around. Number 2. They shed a lot. This is the hardest part of owning a lab. Their hair gets everywhere. A female will generally blow her coat two times a year with her heat cycle. All other labs neutered and unneutered males and spayed females will shed moderately throughout the year and more so as the seasons change. This hair collects on furniture and clothes and blows across the floor in tumbleweeds. You will be amazed at where you will find the dog hair. As we like to say, home is where the dog hair sticks to everything except the dog. There are ways around this little problem, but for some people, it is just not worth the hassle. Daily cleanings are necessary to ensure that you can maintain a healthy environment. You'll want to trim their nails regularly and get their teeth brush a few times per week. Another concern is allergies. If you or someone in your home have allergies, labs are not the breed for you. Number 3. They take up a lot of space. A Labrador can weigh about 70 pounds. This means you won't be able to lift one easily and if it fancies a cuddle on your lap, you will get squashed. If you want a lap dog, a lab is not ideal. Labs are just big dogs. There is no way around it. When they walk through the house, their tail becomes a wrecking ball. If you want an expensive vase, then you need to put it up higher or get something other than a Labrador. Number 4. They keep their youthful tendencies for some time. Labrador retrievers may be cute puppies who can manipulate human emotions with a single look, but they also maintain their youthful ways up until the age of four. That means you'll be dealing with a lot of chewing problems with this breed, especially if your dog has high levels of separation anxiety or boredom at home during the day. You'll want to make sure there are some entertainment options available to save your furniture from harm during these formative puppy years. Number 5. They require a lot of attention. This is more than just having the time to exercise your dog. They also need your attention when you are just kicking them around the house. These dogs feed off of your attention and if they are not getting it, they will find a way to call for it. This breed comes with a lot of energy. That means their natural instinct is to download a bunch of food every day to fulfill their activity requirements. If you're not getting your dog outside for a couple of walks each day and some playtime a few times per week, then obesity could become a problem that you'll need to manage. Most individuals in this breed do not have the self-regulation to stop eating. Number 6. They are prone to genetic problems. This is actually a pretty serious concern. Labs are notorious for hip, shoulder, and eye problems. If you are not careful when you select a puppy, then you could put yourself in a position for a lot of grief, heartache, and vet bills down the road. His is actually a pretty serious concern. Labs are notorious for hip, shoulder, and eye problems. If you are not careful when you select a puppy or a litter, then you could put yourself in a position for a lot of grief, heartache, and vet bills down the road. Number 7. They are not good guard dogs. Labrador retrievers are initially protective of their property and people. All of that attitude goes away when they realize that there is another person at the door. These dogs are friendly to a fault, which means most of them do not work well as guard dogs. 
Their reputation for companionship is so profound that they can make friends with some of the largest animals in the world, including elephants. Number 8. They need early socialization. If you want to maximize your relationship with your Labrador, then you'll want to expose your new puppy to a variety of different places, situations, people and animals between the ages of 2 to 4 months. Early obedience training will help to develop their personality into a well-adjusted, loving companion. If you don't have the opportunity to take care of this need, then the intelligence of the breed can start to work against you. Dogs that don't receive socialization lose their zeal to please others. Instead of being an outgoing individual, it is not unusual for an isolated Labrador to become introverted. This process can lead to hyperactive behaviors and an increased risk of destruction when left to their own devices. Number 9. They are always curious. Labrador retrievers love to explore. That's why a big backyard is a definite advantage if you're considering this breed. If you leave them alone for too long, then they will start to see what is going on in the world around them. Their curiosity will take them in unexpected directions that you might not even consider. If there is a hole in your fence, a usable latch on a gate or a garden that doesn't have any holes in it yet, then your dog is going to find a way to make things happen. Number 10. They could be expensive. Because Labradors are such a popular breed, especially in the United States, the cost of ownership from a responsible breeder can be exceptionally high. It is not unusual for the price of a single documented puppy to be $1,500 or more. If there are championship qualities to the dog, then that price can triple. When one of the parents has experienced success in shows, then the cost can rise to five figures. One of the ways to get around this disadvantage is to adopt a Labrador Retriever from a rescue society or the local rescue shelter. You'll still pay between $300 to $500 because of the popularity, but these easygoing guys and gals will quickly adapt to your new home. If you have other dogs, kids, or pets that share your home already, then this breed will fit right in without a problem. Although there is always the risk of behavioral issues with the occasional individual, the outgoing and eager-to-please approach will create an enthusiastic companion that wants to go everywhere and do anything with you. For active families, adding a Labrador might be a perfect choice. If you are looking for a dog who wants to run and play with the kids or run with the adults, the Lab might be the perfect family pup. It is essential to identify bad habits immediately and correct them through training to encourage a healthy development process. You will also want to complete the recommended health tests from the National Breed Club to ensure that your dog can live a happy and fulfilling life. That's all for today. Hope you found this video informative. Don't forget to give this video a like, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon. Thanks for watching.